this evening's lecture made me think about the way in which senior leaders in organisations, whether executive board, chief executive or, or members of the non-executive board, need to create an environment in which whistleblowers feel comfortable to do that. Partly because that's how senior leaders find things out that they need to know in the organisation, but also more broadly because uh, an environment in which there are instances of whistleblowing is, is in my mind, a, a vital sign of organisational well-being because it, it gives a sense that the organisation, and particularly senior leaders in it, have created an environment in which truth can be heard. The lecture gave me pause for thought on a number of points, particularly as a, as a senior leader in the further education sector, and thinking about how we, we can and what we should do to engage staff more and create an environment in which staff have a voice, whether that's about issues that matter to them or whether that's about where they see instances of some form of malpractice. But the, the lecture tonight really helped me think about how we create an environment in which people feel safe to do those things. I have to admit, I hadn't given quite as much thought as perhaps I should to the, the pained experience of a whistleblower in an organisation where senior leaders haven't created the right environment. I want to think about where whistleblowers are being subject to the sorts of things we heard about tonight, what organisations and what senior leaders should do in the moment to protect those people so that they send the right signal to the individual and the right signal to the organisation about how important truth and integrity are in the organisation. For me, the leadership of thinking is about creating new paradigms. I think too often organisations, sectors, and I think further education is at least as guilty as others of this, fall into the same sorts of thinking and the same sorts of cycles. For me, the leadership of thinking is about pushing beyond the current paradigm drawing expertise in from other fields, other occupations, other disciplines to create genuinely new methods, models and approaches.